Hey guys, it's Jeremy here, and we're gonna talk about um, Nux 3 authentication. I hope I look good in the camera here. I just put this camera on right now. Okay, so Nux 3 authentication, which is like a big deal right now, and I think it's kind of hard to do, but hey, we have a Nux 3 authenticated starter kit ready for you to just use any kind of way that you want. So what we're looking at here is a Nuxt authentication starter app. It has everything that you need for your authentication, like um, login, register, you know, all these things. But today we're gonna to be talking about email verification. Yes, the app can do email verification. How about that, right? So this is the local, um, local host app, but when you go down here, in your environment variables, you're gonna find this I am verify registration. And I am means identification and access management, which is what this app does. It's an authentication authorization app. So you can send email and verify your, your email using three different ways, right? You can use node mailer service and it'll give you an example here or use um, node mailer SMTP, something like this, if you're using your own domain name and your own email uh, service. Or you can use SendGrid, which is really the easiest way to do this once you set things up. So the way this works, right? Let's go to our production app here. So you change this, I am verify registration is to true. So on the production, app here, it looks like this. When you go to register, you're gonna see an email verification required. So it's just telling you that, hey, look, if you wanna do this, you better have a real email cause we're gonna send you a verification thing. And you really you kind of want that so people don't just send you spam. All right, so let's say we have Jeremy here. Okay, well, and uh, let's use an email here, my little Example email there. So we register, right? And then, uh, oh, email already exists. So I can't use that one. I have to use a different one. But hey, let's do this, right? Here's what I'm going to do. Let's log in. Uh, I'm going to log in with that same email and oh yeah since we already registered before i'm going to click login here and then here it says email verification is required so i registered before but i haven't yet verified my email so what i need to do is just send email verification like that Right, so it's gonna go to my email and I have my email box here already open. So, oh, look at this, there it is. Nux I am, please verify your email. So you click on that and you have this, you know, long, um, this is the your email verification token. And this is a one time token. So check this out. I click here, it does its stuff. It's verified, right? Now let's try to log in. So I'm gonna try to log in here. Let me see, uh, Jeremy at yeah, next I am. Oh, logged in, perfect, right? And you have your uh, profile here and settings and all of that stuff, right? Now, next I am is designed to be like extremely secure. So let's say somebody broke into your email account, right? And then they tried to, uh, in fact, let me just log out here. So uh, they broke into your email account and, and, and they tried to steal your Nux I am account by verifying this, uh, you know, password. So let's, let's try to let's try to, to do that again, right? Okay, I guess it worked just fine. Oh yeah. I thought it was a one-time thing, but never mind, right? It's, it's email, it's a password. It's, yeah, it's an email verification, not password change. Password change is something else, which is a one-time thing. All right, so this is how this works. 
this is an authentication and authorization starter kit you can all uh it's yours absolutely free just download uh click the link below this video download it and it shows absolutely free it's a starter kit so you also get um next pages you get a sample page here you get uh contact and uh a, a plug in here so you get a whole bunch of stuff for example right you get all this stuff uh you see how how to use layouts how to use pages so just let me know it's a pretty complex app but all you need to do is just focus on the authentication and auth authorization i plan on having some classes where i can teach uh, you know you know, how to really dig into this but this is just an example hey if you want it it's yours absolutely free just click the link below and have it all right i'll talk to you soon time to turn off the video now